can online content checkers and search engines actually detect AI content? Because if they can't, there is an opportunity for us to make tons of money. Oh yeah, and I have proof. Here's a website here with over 101,000 rankings in Google. Another one with almost 800 rankings, 700 rankings in the workout weight loss niche, 417 rankings in the pet allergy niche, custom guitars, more pets, carbs and keto, urgent dental care, more workouts. Actually, this is just a small snapshot of some of the websites and high ticket niches that I've built for myself and some of my students. And in the last couple years, I've spent well over $100,000 having writers make custom content for these websites so that I can rank in Google and make money. But what if AI could generate the same quality content or better, get me the same rankings, get me the same amount of traffic, and make me the same amount of money without having to spend $100,000 for content? So today, we're gonna put it to the test. My $100,000 versus chat GPT. So the first thing we need to realize is that when people search on Google, you're gonna notice that results come up. Several different types of results. First of all, we're gonna have the paid results or sponsored results that show up on the top. Then below those results, there's gonna be what we call the free results or SEO content. The SEO content here is where you can actually get traffic from Google for free. Let me show you over here in the computer exactly what I mean, how this works, and how we're gonna use AI to make tons of money. If we were to search Google over here for Power Waxer, we're gonna see that Amazon comes up number one, and then another site about Power Waxers, some images, some kind of wholesaling programs, and then a bunch of products. But what you might not be seeing behind the scenes is the amount of people searching for this term and the amount of money advertisers are paying to put their products at the top. So if we go over here to the Google AdWords Keyword Planner, we can see that Power Waxer is searched for 100,000 to a million times each and every month. We can also see that the advertisers are paying between 32 cents and $3.16 per click. To get a more accurate reading, we're gonna use the Ahrefs Keyword Tool. We can see here that the volume for this keyword is 496,000 searches per month which means that on Google, the word power waxer is worth an estimated 500,000 to $1.5 million each and every month. But what does this have to do with AI and the ability to make money? And when are we gonna talk about that 100,000 bucks you mentioned earlier? First, I want you to understand the value of traffic. If we were to take a look at this domain, pdhre.org, we can see that they rank for over 500,000 keywords in Google, they get an estimated 73,000 visitors a month, and that traffic is worth $29,000 a month to the advertisers. Let's take a look at what it ranks for. Best bowling shoes, eyelashes, two-person hammock. Looks like a bunch of random stuff. Now let's take a look at what the content looks like. Best kitchen cabinet cleaners. Wait a minute. Everything pantry? PDHRE goes to everything pantry? More about this in just a minute. 10 best renew cabinet cleaners. Content looks okay to me, but wait a minute. What about this? How we pick the product. Most of the items mentioned are not hand-picked. This list was generated by AI? We gotta check this out. So this site, everythingpantry.com, has over 206,000 rankings in Google, gets about 81,000 searches a month, and the traffic value is almost 40 grand a month. And according to the terms on the website, this is 100% written by AI. Yeah, programs like ChatGPT, Jasper, and other free AI-driven robotic content creators. So if we were to search Google for something like association or organization, right like this, we are gonna see that right here, number one, not only does this AI site show up, but it's actually featured at the top of Google with the definition. 
We could also see that if we go for a product like Adaptive Cruise Control Aftermarket, which gets 500 searches a month, that Everything Pantry shows up at the top of this one as well. So it looks like this site is basically trying to be the Everything Pantry of literally everything. They're just finding different keywords that have low competition, using AI to generate some content, throwing it up on Google, and making tons of money. Wait a minute, Marcus, are you telling me that I could just go find non-competitive keywords, load up some cheap AI program, have it create content, and get paid? Actually, yes and no. In fact, Google came out with an official statement on AI and how that is going to affect your search engine rankings and ultimately the money you make. But it's not what you'd think. It says here that Google prioritizes high quality content regardless of whether you wrote it or a robot did. However, using AI automation strictly to game the search engines, that they consider spam. So now that we know how Google feels about AI and that it's not exactly against the rules and they actually don't care whether content is written by AI as long as it's helpful, let me show you how to use this to make tons of money. Now here is where it starts to get interesting. If we see a site like pdhre.org or even the pantry site everythingpantry.com, what's happening is these people are actually getting these domains at auction or on the expired domain market. What that means is that the domain that they have, they don't actually own. So the PDHRE domain, PDHRE, actually used to belong to a foundation that had been around for a long time. Now this foundation had lots and lots of backlinks from lots of other websites. If we go into here to Ahrefs, we can go in and see that this site has backlinks from everywhere, from humanitarian sites to Wikipedia, and on and on we go. What that means is that this domain holds power in Google. So the domain in and of itself has power to get search engine rankings. Now, what these people are doing is they're buying the domain or acquiring it somehow, putting a bunch of AI junk content on it, and because of the power of the domain, it shoots up at the top of the Google rankings. As we can see here, it ranked for all kinds of different things. But if you look even closer, you're gonna see that it's actually losing a lot of rankings. On February 17th, just a month ago, it lost over 45,000 search rankings in one day. So it might seem like Google is actually cracking down on AI content, which is why the owner of this website switched over to Everything Pantry, pointed all the links there, put more AI content in hopes to get lots and lots of traffic. And if you compare this to a domain name I bought about how to do glute workouts, you can see here that I actually paid $240 to have 12 pieces of content written specifically about the topics that I wanted to get traffic for. I also went through and bought a domain at auction that had backlinks for $500. And you can see here that this domain has tons and tons of backlinks that are relevant for the topic we're talking about. And because of that, I get lots of good search engine rankings. They last a long time. This one's been up for almost a year and they make money. But the question is, can we use AI to get content for these domains, get lots of rankings and turn a profit with affiliate programs, AdSense and other programs that pay us when people click on ads? Well, let's take a look at this one here, nerdgettingfit.com that has lots of rankings in the weight loss market and I haven't done anything to this website in over a year or choose frugal that ranks for all different kinds of wedding type terms. So if I was to go out there and purchase a domain in a niche that I wanna work in, use ChatGPT to create content in that niche, right like this, and then refine the content and make sure it's exactly what the person's searching for wants, then I'd be able to create content a lot faster wouldn't have to invest over $100,000 in content writers, could get search engine rankings, lots of traffic, and make tons of money. But the key is in making everything tight knit. We wanna go through and get everything that is very, very specific to our niche. We don't wanna be like these people who get the foundation domains and try to rank for everything. We wanna get a very specific domain that has backlinks. And if you wanna learn about domaining, check out the links in the description and then make all of our content around what that domain was about. 
if we do this and provide value to the end user, whether it's AI value or whether I write it myself, doesn't really matter. As long as it fits what they want, as long as we go the extra mile and have AI refine the content for our visitor, we can go through and make lots of money with very little risk. And you can see here, when you have content that's written, you wanna think in terms of your visitor. The key here, whether you're using AI, ChatGPT, or writing content on your own, is to think about the person behind the computer that's searching for whatever it is they're searching for. So if I was looking for budget ideas for a wedding, I could go through and say, well, what are the most expensive wedding items? Or I could go through and do a sample wedding budget. Or I could talk about ways to save money on a wedding. Or I could talk about the best venues. Whatever it is your visitor is thinking about, that's what you want to focus on. Because if you could provide value, and again, remember, value is in the eye of the searcher, then we can create content that people actually want to read. And even though AI and ChatGPT is going crazy in 2023, the fact of the matter is, behind every computer, there's still people searching for stuff. They're not searching for robots, they're searching for actual answers to real world questions. And while a robot might do a good job of telling you whether your dog should eat peanut butter, it might not be the best thing when it comes to planning a wedding or figuring out the best diet for you specifically or finding opinions on different things. And if we focus on what people search for, provide value, look at why they're searching, pair them together, then we can make money. And if you wanna learn more about my domain buying method and how I get content written by ChatGPT and other AI programs, check out the links in the description.